The analog increment is, you guessed it, an analog symbol that lets you increment or decrement an analog signal. To get an analog increment into your program, click on the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key AINC, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the analog operations folder under logic symbols, and then click and drag the analog increment over to the detail view. So by inspection, we notice that the analog increment has one analog output, three digital inputs, and then six parameters. The digital inputs are pretty self-explanatory. The up input makes the analog output increase, the down input makes the analog output decrease, and the mute level, well, you can pretty much imagine what it does. So with that in mind, there are two ways of changing the value of the analog output. The first is by pulsing these digital inputs, and the second is by pressing and holding the digital inputs. The output will change by increment amounts every time one of the inputs is pulsed, and once the inputs are held high for hold time seconds, the analog output will change by increment amount every repeat time seconds. The analog increment also gives you the power to control the range of values that the output can take on. The mute level parameter tells you what value the analog output will take on when the mute input is pulsed. Let's build a quick example program. We're going to use three analog increments with slightly different parameter values. All of the increments will be driven with output from an X panel. And the presses from the X panel that drive the analog increments are going to be used as feedback. And the last thing we have to do is label the analog increments and drag them over to the analog inputs of the X panel. Alright, so that's all there was to it. Let's go ahead and compile and upload to our processor. On our X panel, we have an up, a down, and a mute button for each of the analog increments that we added to our program. And then down below, we've got the parameter specifications just so we get a bit of a better understanding of how these are going to work. So for the first analog increment, when I push the up button, we see that the value changes by 10 in the positive direction. And when we push the down button, that value decreases by 10. And when I push and hold the mute button, we notice that the value goes exactly to the mute level value. But when I release the mute button, the value returns to what it was before. And for the second analog increment, when I push the up button, we see that the value changes by 20, but it doesn't go above 100, and that's because we specified the upper limit to be 100. And if I push the down button a couple times, we see that it doesn't go past the lower limit of 20. When I push and hold the mute button, the output value goes straight to 50. And when we instantly let it go, it returns to exactly what it was before. We're gonna leave the last analog increment for you to examine on your own.